If you're having difficulty setting up your pulse frame and you see an error message that says that the frame cannot connect to the Kodak server, your pulse is in need of an update. Now, the update is easy to do and it can be downloaded to the frame automatically over your Wi-Fi network. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So, the first thing is when you turn your frame on, you'll see the Kodak startup screen and then the frame will go to a screen that allows you to select your language. In this case, I'm going to pick English. Now what you want to do is put your frame on your Wi-Fi network. So you'll start the process and the pulse will go out and find all the networks in your home. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a good strong signal. In this case, you'll see I have 60%. So you will want to make sure you're over 50% signal strength. So if you have to, it would be a good idea to move your frame closer to your router if your signal strength is low. So I'm going to touch my router and you'll see that I have a message here that says I cannot connect to Kodak Pulse server. Press the health check button to indicate where a problem exists. So the health check button is located on the back of the frame and it's right here and it's a small button right under this power button. So it's the second button down. So what you're going to do is you're going to push that health check button and you're going to go to the health check screen that allows you to perform some diagnostics. So what you're going to do is you're going to touch this about icon and you'll see down here that a new firmware update is available. So what you want to do is you want to select that. Now sometimes you might see a message that said check to see if update is available. So if you have either one of these two messages make sure you select it and now the frame is going to go out over your Wi-Fi network and update itself. Now it's very very important that you don't turn the frame off during this process and sometimes this might take uh, three or four minutes and it's dependent on the speed of your network and this, the uh, Wi-Fi signal strength. So now you'll see the firmware downloaded to the frame and the frame is updating itself. Once the firmware is loaded, the frame will reset itself and start back up through the setup process. Now this will be back where you left off. So again, you're going to put the frame on your network by clicking the start icon. You're going to choose your network. And now the pulse is going to go off and attach itself to your home network and connect back into the Kodak server. So at this point, your frame has been updated. It has um, some new features and you're back now to the step of step two in the process where you have to go to codecpulse.com, create an account and use this activation code and once you do that your frame will be all set up and you'll be ready to set up its email address uh, connect it to your Facebook account or upload pictures to your PC.